Hi, I'm Alicia McLean, and today we will be making a laser cut leaf lamp. It's over 100 pieces, so come with me for the journey of making this lamp today. I was looking for a 100 piece design, found it, and brought it in a first build to laser cut. Here is my file that I will be cutting today. It is an AI file, which is an Adobe Illustrator file. I'm going to open up Adobe Illustrator, start a new file. I want to make sure that it's 48 by 24. I'm going to create. So what I'm going to do is control A and control C all of this and then go over here to that file that I created, paste it here. Just need to make it a little smaller. If you're cutting out, the stroke for all of it is 0.001. Um, so you have to make sure to change that. And then you also need to make sure that the color is a true red, which is 25500. The last time I did a laser cut project, I used wood and I painted it white. So this time I'm going to start with a material that's already white. So I'm using white acrylic. And that's the upper left corner and make sure that is on the acrylic. Then we're going to go down to the bottom left piece. Now we're going to use the focus tool. The laser cutter has three dimensions, X, Y, and Z. You want to make sure that you have accurately determined the distance from the laser to the material that you are laser cutting. So those settings that we made in Adobe Illustrator, we need to communicate that with the laser cutting software. And what's great about First Build is they have this handy dandy cheat sheet for what the settings should be. On the power, we're going to put in 100%, 4% speed, 1000 PPI. And now we are going to press the big green button and hope for the best. If you would like to know how long your job is going to take, you can go over here to estimate view and it will tell you that's gonna take 41 minutes to uh, laser cut this whole piece. We have checked our settings, used our focus tool, turned on the fan. We are ready to go. Are you ready? Here we go. My husband and I were makers, started making Christmas presents for everybody. I laser cut a tie from my father. He did not like it. That sort of sparked something in me. And so this year I was like, okay, I can look up laser cut templates. The laser cutter is a great entry point for a makerspace. You can be creative, you can bring in your own designs, you can make new designs, you can build on other designs that you've already had, but it's easy to use, it's fun, and it's immediately gratifying. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, we are finished laser cutting, and now it's time to go assemble. It is day two. The initial material that I decided to go with was this white eighth inch acrylic. And I just think aesthetically, that this is not the look that I want for a lamp that has branch as the base and is going to have the shade look like a tree. So I am going to pivot to uh, eighth inch plywood. This is all part of being a maker, making choices during the design process, during the production process, looking at something and, and knowing when to pivot because it doesn't meet your needs. Okay, so we have our laser pieces cut and we are ready to roll. What I love about this project is a lot of times we think of the laser cutter as something that we use to cut things in two dimensions. But what's cool is that we've done some cutting in two dimensions in order to make a three-dimensional object. What's great about using a laser cutter for that is that it's so precise. The precision is so tight. Every piece fits perfectly into, um, into its correct location. That is a precision that I would say, especially with the curves and the tiny little parts right here that only a laser cutter can provide, so. So we are about to finish our assembly of the lamp. We have this 3200 Kelvin vintage bowl, which will give us a nice warm light, which will be perfect for our warm and nature-inspired leaf lamp. Let's put this on here and build it as we go. We are now ready to put the leaves on. We have the branches, if you will. I've sorted them by size. We'll be starting with the smallest one and uh, larger ones. So here we go. And here we have the finished product. We have our lovely vintage leaf lamp. We have been enlightened. <laughs>